you know, I think I think you make a good point that in a way you all are trained now by having to deal with a series of cyclones over the last couple of years. In fact, Roxy Coal, as a meteorologist, we are seeing this last year this time. We had Cyclone Amphan on the eastern coast, disturbances in the Bay of Bengal, and this time it's the western part of the country being hit. Gujarat in particular has been vulnerable in the past to cyclones. Give us a sense of the trajectory of this cyclone and how intense you see it as it makes a landfall. Thanks, uh, Raj Steve, for uh, calling, call, calling me to this important discussion on cyclones uh, uh, hitting the Indian coast. Uh, I should start with a positive note saying that uh, uh, I was I was listening to your correspondent Vidya saying that there were almost no deaths uh, 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 over, some, over some of these regions in Mumbai, uh, despite having such a super uh, such an extremely severe cyclone. Now, uh, one stat I would like to say is that this is one of the uh, extremely severe cyclone that we have ever seen so close to Mumbai since 1891. That is for the last 130 years. So it's such a severe cyclone and has come so close to Mumbai, but we are, we are able to avoid so many deaths and that is because the forecasts have improved over time. In fact, we got a signal about this system developing maybe wow. almost a week back. And uh, now we see that the NDRF and the local administration has worked together, but there are more challenges coming up. And uh, uh, like you rightly said, Arabian Sea is becoming a hotbed, and one of the reasons is that uh, because of uh, ocean warming. Cyclones draw their energy from, from the warm waters below. And uh, we are seeing that compared to Bay of Bengal, which has been an active region, the Arabian Sea is warming much more rapidly than any other basins across the tropics. So that results in uh, uh, the number of cyclones increasing, and the intensity of this cyclone increasing. And not only that, there's another factor here, important factor, challenging mm -hmm. factor, and that is that these cyclones are intensifying rapidly. So it, from a weak cyclone to an extremely severe cyclone, uh, that is around from 100 kilometer per hour to 220 mm -hmm. kilometer per hour, that is happening in less than 24 hours. So that is a challenge we have to work on both. The forecasts have to improve to capture that, and also on ground, we may have we may have to work on that. Mm -hmm. So just very quickly, uh, as the cyclone now makes a landfall somewhere around the Diu coast, uh, while there's been a large scale evacuation along, what are do you fear, uh, Mr. Cole, that this is the kind of intense cyclone that can cause damage, and it, it, because these are some of these are areas that are habitated uh, by fisher folk, fisher communities uh, along the coastline in Veraval, in Diu. Do you fear the worst or do you believe that we have, as the NDRF chief suggested now, practice the art of evacuation almost to a fine art? Well, I think the, 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 the impact could be extremely severe uh, owing to the fact that this is a very severe cyclone and even just before landfall, it is it is uh, maintaining that status of severity. And IMT forecast and INCOIS forecast, they show that the waves could be strong from three, three meters to five meters. So that means these strong winds will push more water inland. And along with that, so this is like a triple impact. So you have a cyclone, which is bringing in a heavy rainfall and also mm -hmm. strong winds. And on, on the background, the sea level is also rising. So all this put together, which, which will mean prolonged uh, floods along the coastal region. So that is something we have to work on. We cannot keep on evacuating every time. Right. We cannot uh, relocate uh, uh, buildings, uh, residential areas, uh, trains and buses and everything, right? So we need to work, do a risk assessment and have proper policies so that we have a resilient uh, uh, coastal region. We can work on our mangroves, this Mumbai, Goa, all these regions right. have mangroves. So that is a natural defense that we can work on. 